Hi, welcome to the Perm Show. Today we are downtown Perm. We are at the Promenade Ballroom. And I am joined by Ruth and Paul, who are here to share a very exciting event that's coming up this Saturday in Perm. So Ruth, you are on the Relay for Life Committee. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about this event? Okay, this is our second year of Dancing with the Stars of East Outer Tail County. It's a fundraiser for our entire relay, um, put on by basically the Central Committee of which I'm a part, and um, Lisa Peterson, the chairperson for the mm -hmm. Relay, actually came up with this idea last year, and as she presented it, we're all thinking, wow, this sounds like a lot of work, <laughs> but we jumped in, and Lisa does hours and hours of work trying to organize dancers and partners, and so um, it's coming up now on Saturday, the 22nd, at 7 o'clock, it's at the high school, Admission is $5, and then bring a little extra money along because you also get to vote for your favorite dancers cool. by putting dollars or $10 or $20 into a you job. You really want them to win. <laughs> yes. so, depends on how badly you want them to win, exactly. Yeah. So um, we really invite everybody out. It is, like I said, a fundraiser. The funds actually go to the American Cancer Society, yeah. and uh, the money does come back. Uh, that's why it's a common question. Yeah, but we send it away and we don't get anything for it. We do get a lot for it. There's mm -hmm. a 1-800 number, um, easy number to remember, 1-800-ACS-2345. Okay. That anybody can call anytime, 24-7, and there will be a nurse on the other end to, to answer your questions about cancer and things like that. Okay. Um, another thing is Road to Recovery, where there are rides available for people to go to their appointments. Sure. Another huge one is the, um, the Hope Lodges, oh, yeah. both yeah. in the uh, um, University Avenue in the Minneapolis and at Mayo. So um, a lot, and there's also a Look Good, uh, Feel Better program in Fergus Falls that local people can go to. Uh, lots of money comes back, so it isn't like it goes off into Never Never Land. It right. doesn't help me and you right. when we need it. Right, right. absolutely. Um, let's see. The, the four things we talk about that the money does go to are research, education, advocacy, and patient services. Those are the four basic things. Sure, sure. We're going to talk with Paul just a minute here a little bit about the dancers. But um, So now this is your second year doing the mm -hmm. Dancing with the Stars. And um, what a successful event last year. Why didn't you tell us how much, well, first of all, how many people attended? I think you said we were talking before, you said it was around 500? Yes, there yeah. was about 500 out of 600 available seats in the auditorium. So it was very impressive that we had that kind of attendance for our first year event. That is amazing. And then also, um, you raised, how much money did you raise with this event last year? Uh, near $5,000 yes, was the yeah. final final total. Wow. It, it, it was really terrific because there was uh, $5 at, at the entry door, and then the rest of it came off of voting from the audience. Sure. So, you know, uh, it's nice that the audience gets to participate in the winner's process. Yes, absolutely. Paul, I'm going to give you this remote. Now, you have Thank been um, working very, very hard with these students, the ones that are participating. That's um, true. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your role in this? Well, uh, I was approached last year by the committee. Um, I thought it was a terrific way for me to give back to the community. One of the ways that, um, one of the things I do as a small business owner is contribute a lot through volunteerism and to charity auctions. And I've got a $10,000 a year giving goal, wow. which is actually fairly hard to hit. Uh, so it's nice for me to be involved in the relay. And sure. my son is actually a leukemia survivor. Oh, okay. uh, when he was a toddler, he went through two and a half years of treatment uh, for leukemia. Um, so it's it's good to be able to give back in a way that I wasn't able to before. Yep, yep, absolutely. Um, as far as the dancers go, we've got six terrific couples again. Okay. Uh, very outgoing, fun people. Uh, they're, they've only had one week so far and two more weeks to go okay. uh, to get ready for this event, and they're working very hard to do it. Um, I'm impressed with their progress, but we've got a long way to go, so come on out and show your support. Absolutely. Okay, why don't you tell us, because Perm is um, such a small community and it kind of seems like we all know one another, which is so cool. Why don't you tell us who the dancers are this year? Well, we've got a mix of community leaders, uh, all the way from Frazee to uh, New York Mills. Okay. So we have uh, Steve Peliquin, who's a local attorney here, uh, mm -hmm. Kevin Anderson, who's the director at the Perm Activity Center, mm -hmm. um, Amy... 
I'll get Amy's last name here. It's nice to Amy Walgren. Uh, she is a community promoter out of New York Mills. Okay. Our elementary school principal, Jen Hendrickson, is participating. And Jeff Morris, the Purim High School cross country coach. Wow. So we've got a lot of terrific people. I think I covered all six. It looks, um, oh, and then yes, Kathy Waters. She is one of the uh, relay board members. Yes. And this is uh, her first opportunity to dance, and she's also a cancer survivor. Okay, great, great. So this is coming up this Saturday. Yes. So people can come and, and now do they perform one dance? Uh, they do get to perform two dances. Two dances, uh, The big okay. group dance will be the waltz, so okay. they'll all be doing a uh, performance in unison with each other okay. and dancing uh, you know, across the stage. The lindy is the individual dance, so that's a type of swing, and they'll each have individual routines comprised of mainly the same ingredients with some special things for each of them. Sure. So it's going to be very exciting. Last year was Foxtrot and Rumba, and this year we have Waltz and Lindy. Okay, great. And then there'll be a panel of judges. I think you said there's three judges. Yes, a panel okay. of three judges, and they'll mainly be judging based on things like uh, confidence, interaction with the crowd, bearing, do they look like they're having fun. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're not expecting them to be... Um, professional dance judges, but we are looking for them to give feedback on how nice the dancers look as they perform. Sure, of course. And then there's also, did you say there's four awards that are given away? Um, yeah, she, she did. There are okay. two given away by the judges, first place and runner-up, and okay. two for audience choice, first place and runner-up. Okay. And so it's, uh, it's nice to have that many awards. Um, it is possible, I believe, for one couple to get two awards. Okay. Uh, as long as they're both, you know, one is audience and one is judges. And we had, like I said, a lot of great voting last year. So don't be shy. Uh, don't put your money in the vending machine this week. Bring it for Dancing <laughs> yes. with the Stars. Mm -hmm. Pack your vote. lunch. <laughs> That's right. Pack your lunch and vote for people. <laughs> yes. Okay, so it's coming up this Saturday at 7 o'clock. Correct. People can pay right at the door. It's yes. $5. Okay. Sure. Um, the different teams are invited to bring concessions, so you don't have to pack your lunch. Um, <laughs> I know that uh, our team did popcorn. We had fresh popcorn last right. year, and some had bars and cookies and okay. different things like that. So, um, yeah, there will be opportunities, little other opportunities to spend a little money, and it all goes into the relay. Great, great. Now, why don't you tell us, um, Ruth, why don't you tell us when your relay is this year? I can take that from you. Thanks, Paul. Um, the relay is July 11th. Okay. It's always the second Friday of July, okay. and it starts at about 5 o'clock in the evening on Friday, okay. and then it goes, unless we get rained out like last year, it goes through tw through the night yep. to about 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And so, and you know, I, I was thinking, as I was thinking this morning, it's like, Oh, July seems far, far away, but it'll be here, and we'll have the town painted purple before we know it. Yes, so it will be. This is kind of our early, early kickoff for get, get ready and geared up for the relay. Great. Right. Great, perfect. Well, we invite everybody to Dancing with the Stars. It's this Saturday at 7 o'clock at the high school auditorium. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? Did we cover it all? I think we did. Uh, we do have two returning couple, uh, two returning guys from last year who are acting as dancers rather than stars this year. Uh, okay. They've had some time to improve their dancing since the last Dancing with the Stars. So Terry right. Lee, the mayor of Richville, and Tim Meal, the mayor of Purim, are coming back to dance with a couple of the ladies. So come out oh, and show your support for them again. Great. Perfect. It is truly a family event. There are a lot of things where... Um, children just don't fit or aren't even allowed. This one, bring the whole family, and I will guarantee that everybody will enjoy it. Yes, it's very entertaining. Perfect. Now, if anyone has any other questions about this event, who should they call? They can call, certainly, Paul. Okay. Yep, here at the Promenade Ballroom. The okay. number is 4570308. Okay. They can call me, 218-367-2571, uh, or Lisa Peterson, whose number is 218-346-4747. Perfect. Well, it was so nice to have you both on the show today. Thanks. Um, and if there's, if there's anything else, feel free to give these guys a call, and we hope you're excited as we are. We will be right back. Thank you.